Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Recipe with Mahesh. Today we'll look into the sizing recommendation which Google provides for all its compute engine. If it is running for at least one day continuously, then a good amount of metrics would be captured and Google can uh, give this recommendation based on data which is like almost like uh, past eight days data. It can give you a recommendation. So when you mean by recommendation, what is the primary focus? Whenever we uh, provision virtual machine, the cost for prime, uh, for the virtual machine is primarily the compute, the vCPU and the memory. They give you a recommendation whether the vCPU and memory is provisioned exactly or oversized or undersized so which is a really a good option i would say uh, when it comes to gcp uh, and they have few screenshots where they mention uh, there are machines which are oversized so if you reduce the machine type you can save up to 17 dollars a similar video i had done uh, on march uh, this year where i had shown there was no audio there but i had shown you how you can uh, change the machine type of a oversized machine so most of the places they only show you this kind of an option so i thought i'll do something slightly different so i have an instance which is over provisioned already sorry it is under provisioned now google suggests you to increase the machine type so that it can work uh, correctly so this is the instance so if i just change so if I just add my machine type and remove in use column, so which is not required. So you see that it is currently one vCPU, 3.75 GB of RAM, so which is nothing but N1 standard uh, one. But the recommendation is to switch it to a custom machine type, which is two vCPU and 5.5 GB of RAM. So let's follow the recommendation which they are saying. Just just click on this. So this is a hyperlink which will pop up and say what is the actual thing. So this is my current configuration. And if you change this to this, it's not uh, saving your cost, but it is your your virtual machine will be working properly. So that is the thing. And if you want to apply this, just click on this. Since uh, changing the machine type requires a change in the requires you to restart the virtual machine. So the moment you apply this, what happens is the resizing will be in progress. And you see this, the resizing is in progress. And once that happens, the machine will be restarted and it should come up with the new machine type. So let me pause the video. And you may now see that the restart is in progress. So it has applied the changes once the changes are applied. So first it has to stop it. So once it applies the changes, to apply the changes, it has to restart, restart. And uh, once it applies it, then it will again come back live. So let's wait for that. Now the virtual machine has restarted and the recommendation has been applied. Now it's currently a custom machine type. So that's the sizing recommendation which Google provides. Since most of the documentation and the videos primarily focus on saving the cost, but I wanted to show you something which is also there. So if it's overutilized, how can you increase the machine type so that the virtual machine can work smoothly? So that's the video which I wanted to share. Hope it is helpful. Thank you for watching.